Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at a second example of our fit model fitting for time series data. So here is a data set where it's looking at the number of male live babies being born over time. So what we wanted to do when we're comparing the model, remember we've got our legend up the top, we want to compare the black line, so that's our actual data, and we want to look and see how well does that greeny blue line follow and track the black line. And in this case there are quite a number of places where the data does not fit very well at all. Okay, And so this is what we need to identify. First of all we're going to say overall this is not a good fit. Secondly, and then we're going to give some examples of where the model doesn't fit as well, and what that does is demonstrate that you understand what it is that you're looking for. So I can say that we can see the model does not track the data very well, so that they the model is not a good fit. In fact, it's a bad fit. If I've got a model that's not very good, then that means my confidence in using the model for predictions is a lot more uncertain. I don't I don't have as much confidence in it anymore. But remember, we're still predicting in the future, so there's still going to be some uncertainty around fact that we are predicting.